Hey, Coyote Nation, happy Monday to you. You can see we have got the great KC from KC and the Round Man Show on the Coyote Deck with oh, us. Man. And we've got it. We have to start off with the conspiracy. It is. You know, uh, I, I love conspiracies. Yeah. I'm, I'm like that guy that always is like reading it and all of that, like Storm Area 51 and all that other crap. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think that last week we did a video and we tried to upload it like four times and it Facebook wouldn't let us in. And I think it's because of our just natural beauty. Yeah, well, um, certainly they, yours. They wouldn't let us have it. Yeah. Well, I mean, well, certainly mine. Well, yeah. because, you know, I mean, they let all the other four <laughs> shows go up. <laughs> they right? did. Crystal and the Bear, Jason Stapleton, Jamie Turner. All, everybody, a rounder went up, everybody. Yeah. But us. Not, not Casey. Mm. So, I mean, I don't want to say that the fix was in, but I feel like the fix was in. I think so, too. And we had some good stuff last week, too, man. We were talking about gravy again. And yeah, I guess we were, weren't we? Stuff like that. Honestly, I've slept since then, so I can't really remember. I can't either. I was trying to remember what we did talk about. Oh, you know, gosh. Man, so. Well, I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. No, you. You I was go just going to say, uh, we're kind of almost making the switch of seasons here. Yeah. So it, it, interesting you bring that up. Yeah. So I'm a big believer in it's like it's going to be a, a heat index warning today, by the way. Um, but everybody, everybody says, oh, my God. Oh, summer's over and blah, 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 blah. Well, that's not really the case. Just because your kids go back to school, which I got, I, I dropped Lincoln off for his first day of school today, right, actually. Right. I didn't see any pictures. Um, Everybody else is putting pictures I out. know, but I'm the guy that for years and years and years before I had children was like, I'm done looking at the pictures of your children on Facebook. <laughs> yeah, cut it so out. Like, right? So I don't even bother. I'm not like I don't. I, I said something to my wife, and I'm sure she'll put them up there and then tag me in them. But uh, um, no, so anyway, when, when your kids go back to school, that doesn't mean that the party stops. And by party, I mean not like, woo, drinking party. What I mean is um, there is the weather is still awesome uh, in, in the listening area. So there's always, of course, the lake behind us or rivers and streams or or parks. Our, our state parks in the listing area are, are rated top in the in the country. Yeah. Um, so there's still plenty of time to get out and do what you want to do. And, and do us a favor. Do it. Uh, don't get yourself, don't, don't prematurely put yourself in your hole of your house when it's still 90 degrees outside. Yeah, that's coming fast enough, right? It, it really yeah. is. It really is. Um, but I'm a big fan of season changes too. Um, I, I'm a, I love winter, um, and I love summer. So, I mean, it, it works. Yep. It, a lot of people hate winter, uh, but I feel like if you hated winter, you should move to like Florida, where people go to die. Yeah, well, right? or you know, San Diego, Los Angeles. Yeah, and I've actually lived in those places, and those. I, I tell you what, the years fly by because there's no break in season. Right. You know, it's I mean, weird. It it's is weird. weird. It's not meant to be that way. No, no, no. Yeah. But uh, so over the weekend, I uh, I, I went to. I, I actually left the state uh, to, back to Illinois, where I'm originally from. I saw my mommy. Hey, mom. And uh, and took my wife to a concert. And it, it's funny because there are concerts everywhere in the listing area right now, and then I leave the state to see one. Yeah. But it occurred to uh, it occurred well, it occurred to me because my wife pointed it out. Over the years, we have gone to so many shows. Uh, I, I honestly, we're we're blessed and very very lucky to be able to to do that, mostly because of what what we do for a living. Right. Uh, but at the same time, it's these shows are open to the public, and and so we're, we got a four and a half hour drive up there, and well, a little less than that because I feel like the speed limit through northern Missouri is more of a. You know, like a suggestion. Right. I'm right? with you on that. Okay. Absolutely. So anyway, so we're in the car and, and, and we're just talking back and forth. And she says, you know, we've seen a lot of music and, and we've really we've really done a lot of things just this summer. And it occurred to me that, folks, if, if, you're, if you haven't gotten out and seen a concert lately, you're missing out. You're missing out. There's so much live music happening in a listing area. Hundreds of thousands of dollars are being poured into just the music, just paying the entertainer, uh, plus the production. And by that, I mean the sound system and the lights and the laser beams and the fog and all of that explosions. Um, and and then uh, that money then gets recirculated back into the local economy. So if you have a chance to see live music, do it. I was at a venue that held uh, 15,000 people, and it was damn near sold out this weekend um, in Illinois. And a, a lot of our venues down here hold a lot of people, too. 
Um, I don't think any of them hold 15,000. I think one of them could if they undid a gate and updated the plumbing and some things like that. But, um, but I, I, it occurred to me that we're really lucky in the listing area over the past few years to get out there and experience that stuff. Oh, yeah. You know, I mean, that is one of the blessings of living in a place like this is that, I mean, even though, you know, we have smaller towns here. Right. I mean, there's an influx of millions of people that come to this area. Exactly, which gives us that, that live here, um, even, you know, I'm talking about Richland, Dixon, Lebanon, Fort Leonard Wood, Rolla, all of that, which gives us which gives us the unique opportunity that live here to be able to get those kinds of entertainers and see that live music. And yeah, it's gonna cost you 50 bucks. Unless you right? win a ticket from the coyote. Well, you could win tickets. We've got That's Uncle right. Cracker hey. tickets coming up, uh, not this week, but next week, because uh, we're holding on to them until the week before the show. But um, but yeah, you can win a ticket, but, but really, if it's 50 bucks give or take. And that's what, well, that's if you like the drink and the ticket price and all of that stuff. And it's worth it. It's worth it because you get to see the music that you hear on the Coyote. And I'm telling you folks, it it's so awesome. It's so, I can't talk enough about the fact that, that more live music, the better. And we say it all the time. Yeah. And you know, and that's one of the, the ways that you, cause you and Rounder own the radio station, yeah. right? And, and one of the ways you go about uh, programming the Coyote is to try to make it. It's it sounds like a major market radio station in Coyote Nation, you know, in Little Coyote Nation. <laughs> but that's kind of because we get millions of people that come in. It is, and um, and Rounder and I, you know, I mean, we've been here a, a, a very long time. You know, first of all, this is I'm gonna just there we go. It is bright, oh, isn't it? Wow, it's much better. <laughs> all right. So you might get a reflection of us in the camera. I don't care. Um, so so. We, we weren't always here. You know, we did, uh, we, we did, I did some major market stuff. Um, and so did Chris. Chris has been in every major market, um, seems like. And, and the experience that we gathered from that was we decided a long time ago that we were going to take that experience and not have to answer to a corporate structure. We answered to ourselves and the big man upstairs and our wives. Um, but, but, um, and, and, and use that experience that we had to bring the best possible sound, which is the most fun sound, yeah. um, to the local area. And we, we love doing it every day. I just had a meeting, uh, before I got here with the programming staff, um, minus Chris, cause I was coming here, um, and talked about know your audience and, and the new morning show with Crystal and Bear, um, folks, they want to know you and each day they're learning more about you and you're learning more about them. And, and I wish you could see them off air. I mean, you do once a week on the on these videos. On the Coyote deck. That's here, them. Right? Like, they're just happy. We might have to put a, uh, like, a hidden camera in the room when you do that. Ooh, no, and we don't want to do that. Put it up on Facebook. I don't know about that. Uh, that might be I feel like that we'd have a lot of beeps and bleeps in there, <laughs> if you know what I'm so. saying. Not a live video. That's kind of hard to bleep out. Yeah. Uh, but, no, you know, I mean, we, we have a really good time. And, and I feel like going into winter... Or fall. It's coming. Uh, it is coming. Um, there's lots going to be going on. Of course, uh, Chris and Jason Stapleton and the Chiefs. Holy smokes, our Chiefs coverage is honestly way better, in my opinion, than you get anywhere else because we're going as fans. Um, we'll see how long that, that keeps up. Yeah. I'm hoping forever. Hopefully they'll let um, us. Yeah. Right. Um, and then, of course, football, the whole football season starts again. Hockey season starts again. And that's going to be a big deal in the state of Missouri. Blues. Yeah, right? Yeah. Um, and then college ball and all of that. So getting the sports reports mixed in with the current programming and our ability to expand our horizons and get to these events to bring that. And by, by get to them, that means we're taking you with us. You know, that's the thing that, that we love about being able to program and have a sports department is you're with us for the ride. Because honestly, folks, we don't know what we're doing. He knows what he's doing and tries to maneuver us in there. But, but that's the beauty of the thing to me, is that it gives the audience, us, the ability to bring you along and experience this ride with us. Man. And I love it. And we just did have such a good time. Doing oh, it's that, super actually. fun. Well, and, and, you know, hopefully you're joining us for our Renegade Radio Sports Updates right around 35 past the hour from 635 in the morning, 635 in the evening. Better be. That's right. But, you know, that's my little part of the, yeah. the, the fun. But then you got, you know, Crystal and the Bear in the morning, 6 to 10, and they are just, they're... They're super fun. They are. They're I mean, what fun. a great show, and it's yeah. three weeks old. Yeah. Uh, so they're having a lot of fun. 
Of course, you got Casey and the Round Man in the afternoon, <laughs> three to six. Best show in the Ozarks. Year after year, you win. Best of the lake, best of the lake, you know, yeah, number yeah, one, yeah, all yeah. that stuff. We couldn't do it without the audience. No, I it's mean, an absolutely. Audience. It's, it's, it's you guys that make it that make it work. It's kind of a give and take. It. It is more of a it is more of a give. Um, we we want to give the best product and be a reflection of the community and our and our listing area. So we we listen to you guys a lot. Um, when you have suggestions, when you say things, when you send us messages on Facebook, or when you call in, we we're just a reflection of you guys. Yeah. Um, and that's and that's what makes it. Like I said, that's what makes it great. Well, and if you listen, if you've listened to Casey and the Round Man, you hear it. I mean, it's. It's kind of like a Coyote Nation family thing going on between uh, Pump It or Dump It or, you know, Secret Sound. Or, it's, it is. It's yeah, fun. It is. Not to digress. Did you hear my stomach a second ago? I did not oh hear that. Oh, my God. I'm so hungry. What did we? Oh, we didn't we have had, breakfast. We didn't have, I didn't have breakfast. I did thought you maybe have we had sauerkraut did and you? it was going to get dangerous Ooh, up here. Oh, I love sauerkraut. Are yeah. you a sauerkraut guy? Oh, yeah. Of course oh, you yeah, are. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm like, I was at the Illinois State Fair. Dude. Dude, dude, dude. <laughs> I got a schnitzel. At the Illinois State Fair, that was covered in sauerkraut and a dark mm. mushroom gravy thing. Oh. It was the best. De- I thought was the best decision yeah. possible. Mm-hmm. Turns out, four or five hours later, worst possible thing I could have done, because um, it adversely affected me in ways that I don't feel like we need to talk about because kids could there. be watching. Right, yeah. But you all know. <laughs> So the drive back was not pleasant. <laughs> well, it's pleasant for me. I don't know about the rest of them. <laughs> hey, be sure to join us. 1079 The Coyote. Crystal and the Bear in the morning, 6 to 10. Jamie Turner, middays. Casey and the Round Man, 3 to 6 in the afternoon. Great music all the time. I mean, you guys put a lot of work in on the music. Uh, we try hard. Yeah. We try and hard. it pays off, too. Renegade Radio Sports updates about 35 past the hour. Just join us. Become a part of Coyote Nation. For sure. All right. So tomorrow here on the Coyote Deck, going to be the round man. Rounder's going to join us. You know his Cardinals are tied for first place. I noticed that over the weekend. They beat the Reds or something, right? Split with the Reds, and they're back home today. They open a series with... The Brewers tonight. Oh, cool. The Chiefs lost Saturday. Yeah, but that's because Mahomes only threw like five plays. Yeah, I mean, so, uh, it's, not a, passes, it's yeah. not a real game. That's right. It's Big just game. preseason. I feel like they put high school kids in there. They put high school kids Pretty in there? Pretty much, yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, everybody but the starters. Yeah, right? I yeah. like it because it gives all the members of the team a chance to play. Absolutely. But, yeah. And Jason Stableton is going to go to this Saturday's game, the Chiefs and the 49ers. 49ers, yeah. Unless the Chiefs decide not to let Jason in, which could happen. It could happen, yeah. honestly. But then he'll probably be doing stuff from the parking lot. I would say probably so, right, yeah. and he'll sneak his way in. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We'll, we'll figure that all out. So be sure to join us. 107.9 The Coyote. Rounder joins us on the Coyote Deck in tomorrow. Yeah. Until then, God bless you.